Well, after a year and a half of remote learning and hybrid schedules, students and teachers across the tri-state have been looking forward to getting back to full-time in-person learning. But as Lisette Nunez shows us, in some districts, Ida is delaying that return to normalcy. The remnants of Ida impacting schools across the tri-state. The Glen Cove School District announcing its high school had extensive damage following the storm. The start of the school year has been delayed until September 9th for its high schoolers. Over in Creskill, New Jersey, some students are planning to go remote at least until November after the middle school and high school, which are in the same building, was damaged from the storm. Pictures show part of the auditorium underwater. The superintendent says every classroom had three to four feet of water. School leaders are looking for alternate buildings so students can return to in-person learning. The board is going to be having a meeting, going in a closed session, talking about the purchase of property or leasing of property. Several different areas have popped up. There are uh, companies that have offered space. There are different school districts. The, the colleagues have been great. The school districts have offered their rooms. But really, we're dealing with seven grades. So the challenge is it's not one room here or there. That can help for certain classes. But we need big locations where we can put entire grades. It's going to be a mess, but I think the, the focal point is to, to put the kids in to classrooms instead of staying home. Again, after a year and a half staying home, most of them were home. So we, we want them to go back to school and you know, learn in an, a normal environment. And the storm also impacting Westchester schools. Seven school districts were expected to open yesterday, but had to switch to remote learning last minute due to transportation issues and flooding. Well said Nunez, Fox 5 News.